Hey everyone, it's Randy Coppola, U.S. Launch Report, and we're where we love to be, right here on NASA and right outside the Vertical Assembly Building. And tonight we're getting ready to place our remote cameras over on Pad 40 for the historic SpaceX launch. Now, by saying that it's a historic launch, we don't mean to take anything away from the supply mission to the ISS, which is the primary mission for this launch. However, Elon Musk and his team at SpaceX are planning on taking the version 1.1 SpaceX rocket and bringing this section back to Earth for reuse. What now, SpaceX is attempting to do on this launch, in addition to bring supplies to the International Space Station, is to bring back the booster for reuse. Future uh, launches uh, will allow them to reduce the cost of space travel exponentially and your children's children will see this as a commonplace event should the technology prove sound. What is expected to happen is after the second stage separates, like this, there will be hydraulic fins that will deploy in a X configuration and the legs with a 60 foot radius will deploy here. Three engines will be used to return it back to Earth. The real interesting mathematics behind it is landing on an autonomous, that is an unmanned barge, two mi 200 miles off the Atlantic coast. So if it's possible and can be done, it'll be an amazing scientific achievement. So, stand by for the launch of the CRS-5 and we might see history happen or just another step in the development of rocket technology. Now, they, they are, by their own admission, expecting a 50% chance that they can land this on an autonomous barge 200 miles offshore, but what they're trying to do is historic in the nature of the future of spaceflight. So stay with U.S. Launch Report as we give you more coverage on this scientific event. 